ज्यादा उपयोगी होगा Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the Sarvodhya International Trust and the India National Center, I thank you for coming to our program, celebrating Gandhi. Thank you. As you are aware, with our invites and Mrs. Jyoti Bose's opening address, this year starts the commencement of a year-long celebration of 150th year of Gandhiji's birth date. I thank Pavanji, very much Pavanji, for your precious time. I thank Pavanji for his thought-provoking talk on coincidence of belief and his very precious time for our trust. I thank the students of Springdale's and the teachers of Springdale's who always stand tall and do us proud. These children finished their exams day before yesterday, and they had a concert yesterday, which they finished, and Jyoti somehow managed to bring this up, what you saw. Thank you, Jyoti. <laughs> the study and the curating of these letters has been a very, very enriching experience for me. Not having studied Indian history, it has been a complete revelation. In 2009, when Barack Obama was visiting Wakefield High School in the US, a ninth grader asked the would-be president, if you could have dinner with someone dead or alive, who would it be? Obama chuckled and answered, well, dead or alive, that's a pretty long list you've given me. But I think it would be Mahatma Gandhi, for he is my hero. Christ gave us goals. Christ gave us goals. But the Mahatma gave us the tactics, said Martin Luther Jr. These days, we get a lot of WhatsApp, some humorous, some jokes. Recently, I got one from my son, who lives overseas, which made me sit up. And this is a WhatsApp on Sanjeev Sanyal, talking about lapses in history, of how hundreds and hundreds of years have been wiped out by the history that we know. We haven't read the real history that our country is, should be, or I hope soon will be proud of. If you can, see him on YouTube, Sanjeev Sanyal. Some of the letters exchanged hold historical facts. And the movement, the turbulent times. What captivated me was their mode of address to each other. And my talk will take not more than three, four minutes more. But it's very sentimental, and I thought this is what I should bring out today. They were troubled times, turbulent times. And today also, we are going through a very turbulent period in our country. I think world over, there are any, at any given time 40 wars waging in the, in the world. And there is enough in our own country, too. So these giants at that time, who were shaping the freedom of our country and our destinies, were, were you know, soft-hearted, just like any one of us. And what I'm going to read out to you just now 
is something very brief of how they addressed each other over these periods of time. Two people I've taken, one is Hitler and one is Sarojini Naidu. How Gandhiji addresses them and how during the time his relationship and his address to them changes. To Hitler, he writes, Dear friend, that I address you as a friend is no formality. I own no foes. My business in life has been for the past 33 years to enlist the friendship of whole humanity by befriending mankind, irrespective of race, creed, or color. To Sarojini Naidu, and these are the most sweetest and sentimental letters. To Sarojini Naidu, the letter starts very casual, the first few letters, very formal. Dear friend, she replies, dear Mr. Gandhi. A year or two later, it becomes, dear sister, she replies, most beloved Bhakti. In 26, Sarojini writes to him, from the wandering singer to the spinner stay at home. He writes again in 1927, my dear Mirabai, she reverts, my mystic spinner. He further calls her, my dear peacemaker. In September 32, he calls her, dear mother, singer and guardian of my soul. I have your letter giving me all the information about dogs and daughters. I suppose you put the dogs first because they are less troublesome. <laughs> as late as 1944, he addresses her as my dear Amma Jan. You know, Sarojini Naidu called Mahatma Gandhi the chocolate colored Mickey Mouse. <laughs> and he called her the Bulbul. In Urdu, poetry, and we use this word very often, istiare. Istiare means words of endearment. Sweetheart, beloved, darling, dearest, tiza, isko kehte hain, istiare. Ek apni hi ghazal ka mein couplet end kar rahi hoon apni talk. Zami se aasman ke sab sitare baant lete hain. Zameen se aasman ke sab sitare baant lete hain. Chamak lavzo me rakkar is tiare baant lete hain. I would like all of you to take a vow today with us at the commencement of this historical year. Let us be more considerate. Let us be more passionate. Let us be more compassionate to each other, irrespective of creed, color, or whatever, or religion. Jai Hind. Thank you.